장사했던 말 기억나? 미국에 가서 서로를 구해주자고 했던 거. 기억해. Minari had um, been introduced to Isaac, the director and writer, uh, by a mutual friend of ours, who, uh, my friend Christina O, oh, who, who produced the film at Plan B. She, I'd worked on, uh, I worked with her on two other films. Uh, there was a at Los Angeles premiere of another film that, that, that I'd scored called The Last Black Man in San Francisco. And she had brought um, Isaac and Stephen to that premiere and introduced us uh, after the movie. And then Isaac and I got together and started talking about his film. She sent him some of my music and she kind of set us up on a date, you know? Um, and then we, we got together and had lunch and we talked about um, the movie and music. And yeah, just, we just kind of took it from there. Just set it down anywhere. Is it down? I find it every time. I, I wrote a bunch of music in the spirit of his script right away at, while I was inspired right after meeting him before they started shooting because I wanted him to have music on set. I wanted them to have my music in the editing process. I, I wanted to, to have it early and I hadn't even officially been hired to to score the film yet because these things take time and with the process of contracts, things like that. Um, but I started early because I it was important for me to that they had that to find that sound and that they could have it on set before they shot um, and use it to to build the sort of emotional fabric of the film if if possible, you know. So I just wrote. Um, this music and it, and it, and it had, I, I feel very grateful that to him, to Isaac, it, resi it resonated as connected to childhood memory and it resonated as dreamlike and had a dreamlike quality that like sparked imagination and thought that and felt to him connected to dreams and childhood memory and felt emotionally like it fit, you know. Um, but I didn't have like a clear calculated path or, or or vision and how to how to do it i just sort of experimented tried played around with different sounds and, and then the ones that felt like they were working i um i sent to him and then he he he, he connected to them and then later on we figured out how why they worked you know the fire scene at the end of the film was the was the one I was the most proud of with music, like the way that it, the, the the music functioned in that in that scene and how it all came together. It's when she calls him honey, then we snuck in the music because it was sort of um, somehow that strangely that 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 terrible event brought them together as a, you know as a, as a couple, and then from there that sort of that theme that was more maybe an, un, an unhinged version of the main theme it was their love theme that 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 theme in that moment became their love theme and i think that's why i'm so happy with the way that the music and the, and the picture connected together in that powerful moment because it because underneath all that pain and all their struggle was this love that they have as a family you know i think that was the most pure representation of that music that that, that we got to achieve um, was in that scene. The, the, the piece of music um, that opens the film, we hear that same melody, that same piece of music at the end of the film over the ending credits, um, sort of to bookend the film is this, in this way where we've sort of come full circle. And in the end, we, 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 I wrote a song in English with using that melody and then we translated it into Korean and Yeti who, who plays Monica, who plays the mother in the film, sang it, which gave it this incredible, she has this beautiful voice and it, it turned the song into this kind of lullaby from mother to son because it came from her, you know? 
Stephanie Hong, this brilliant lyricist, wrote this this poem, translated my my lyrics from English to Korean, and, and in doing so, wrote this beautiful poem, Korean poem, and then Yeti sang it, so it became sort of this new other thing. Um, and we felt really lucky. I felt really lucky that it came together that way. You know that that um the that she's she she sang it from overseas. She would sing it into her iPhone microphone and email us the tracks and we put it in just at the last minute and it all came together so beautifully. It was like this kismet moment. <laughs>